In this video, we will learn how to simulate the periodic structures using the unit cell. Sometimes we need to simulate such periodic structures where the same geometry is repeated for several times. So we can perform such simulation using periodic boundary condition in COMSOL by simulating just unit cell. Today I will show you simulation for these periodic structures. Basically, this is an electromagnetic matter surface. It consists many same size cylinders in a periodic array. First, select the model wizard. Second, select 3D in space dimension. Next, in physics, under the optics, choose wave optics and then electromagnetic frequency domain under it and in last in from study choose the wavelength domain and then done so here first we will set the units dimensions of our geometry is in nanometer so from this drop down menu select the nm and angles are already in the degrees now to draw the geometry, click right on geometry and select cylinder. Suppose it has the radius of 100 nanometer and height is 940 nanometer and its XYZ position is 0, 0, 0 in 3 dimensional space. Now select the material from the console's material library. Suppose this cylinder is made of silicon, so find and select it. Next, let's put the cylinder in a box of air. So go to the geometry and choose rectangular. Now suppose periodicity of the structure is 800 nanometer. So width and depth are 800 nanometer and height is 2000 nanometer. Its base position is center. Now let's select the air for this box. Next is go to electromagnetic frequency domain and select solve for scattered field. And from here Choose the linearly polarized plane wave. Next step is to select the ports. Click right on electromagnetic waves, frequency domain and then select port. Suppose this is our input port, so select it. In the port type, Select periodic because it is the periodic structure and we want to launch the wave from this point so turn on the wave excitation. Input power is 1 watt amplitude of x component of electrical field is suppose 1. Same way select the output port. So this is the output port. Wave excitation must be off here. Next, click right on port and select reference points on periodic port. Repeat for port 2 also. Next is to set the periodic boundary condition. 
so click right here and choose the periodic condition periodic condition adds a periodic boundary condition this boundary condition is used to make the solution equal on two different but usually equally shaped boundaries so now we will select the boundary opposite to each other again choose periodic condition and apply on remaining two opposite boundaries next step is meshing choose the fine mesh you can see the total number of elements meshing time and element quality in this box last step is to define the operational wavelength it's in nanometer and suppose its value is 1500 and 50 nanometer compute it you can watch the progress from here now let's check how much power is transmitted to port so click right on derived values and then global evolution click on this button and find s21 parameter so this is the equation so this gives the value of transmission parameter which also includes the complex part let's take the absolute value for s21 so this is the absolute value which indicates that 99% power is transmitted at port 2